There we go. Finally, we have that titanium mine done. It's seven production per turn there. It's so good. And more farms are always welcome. Money went up because we have another city connection now. Life-giving water and enter the odds. This is actually not a bad city. It's got some good, um, good things around here. It's got gold, copper, copper, geothermal. Um, these are good tiles. This is going to probably grow up to be an okay city. I might actually annex that one at some point rather than keeping it puppeted forever. Our unhealthiness is pretty bad now. Um, really slows our growth, but not nearly as slow of growth as it would do with unhappiness in Civ 5. Um, yeah, the unhealthiness, unhealthiness is not horrible right now. It does make our units a bit weaker in combat, though, which sucks. So I don't really care about staying in this war very much anymore. I might as well go take that city, which is his new capital, just because I know where it is. Um, if I zoom out all the way, you are just an outpost, yeah. And then you are France, which is the only country which I don't know a path to. So if we look at the list here, yeah, we know where Russia is. He's on the bottom there. Um, we can go right there to get to their capital. We can go right here to go to their capital, which I think is landlocked. Yeah, it looks like we might actually have to go in the land if we're going to get a conquest victory. And we have to go way up here for this one, which... Uh, that might be a coast right there, but it might also be landlocked. It's hard to tell. Regardless, we basically have three opponents left. Uh, Russia's at war with us still, but they are hardly a threat by this point. Oh man, we are slaughtering them. Franco-Liberian one. Um... Might as well just wait there for a minute while the uh, cutters heal up. Or I could go on ahead, actually, and shoot down some ships if they have some. Regardless, I'm actually going to keep a cutter up here for defensive purposes, because these two are over here. I think the next one I want to take out... I think the next one I want to take out might be, um, Germany. They look like they might be easy pickings. I really do need an explorer over there. And, uh... Just gonna skip the coast a little bit. No, looks like they didn't settle up along there. They just went straight for the water. Okay. Well, it works for me. And you now have all of those tiles upgraded. Uh, so buy another one. I really should try and get the petroleum soon. It's a really good tile. Purity! Purity! Gotta upgrade the troops. And we can now actually upgrade our frac site, which is awesome. Which means we can also make planes, which is awesome. But we don't have carriers to carry the planes, which sucks. And we do not have alien sciences for a xenomass well, even though xenomass wells are pretty cool. Alien sciences is all the way over there, though. I'll get it at some point. It's not a super high priority at the moment. See you, Justice. Okay. So again, I remind you, we're on the second hardest difficulty in the entire game, and we are mopping the floor with everyone. No one is able to put up an even halfway decent fight right now. The AI does not know how to use the new mechanics of the game, and even before this expansion, the AI was not very smart. I don't know what it is. Civ 5, they are way more dangerous. I, don't necess I wouldn't necessarily call them smart, but they're effective, usually. And this one, though, just no, they're so dumb. 
All right, let's get a really late spy agency. Purity is adapting your environment to be more like Earth. We're doing purity because we have float stone nearby. Often I entirely pick... Um, often I entirely pick what affinity I go for based on the resources around me. Yeah, I want reactors to give me more production. Uh, I actually ended up skipping the entire phase of needing to make reactors to afford my military, which is awesome. Speaking of, um, I one turn away from being able to get another thing, and I'm going to get my production up uh, when I do that. Oh, this city cannot defend itself. Yep, that city is not going to last. Okay. Um, the cutter's already moving in. Sweet. It's got no health left. Might as well scout a little bit. Don't see any more of their borders. Next turn I take it. Um, yeah. Alright, I- that might be Russia's only city left. I'm gonna be honest. Apparently they have another city left. Oh, I think I see borders down there. Yep. Alright. We go south along the coast. We don't even need to wait to heal this time. He barely hurt us. Un our unhealthiness is going to start getting high in this game. We're always going to be racing to keep our unhealthiness uh, manageable. Which is why money is important, because then you can quickly purchase healthiness places. Like that. The full heal reserve army. Yep. Thank you for the diplomatic points, lady. And I'm going to use that to go into personality traits and go level three on domestic industrial. All of our cities produce 15% more production per turn, which is absolutely amazing. We just build everything 15% faster. That equals so much extra production over the course of a game. They're trying to take it by land. Do you enjoy this prolonged bloodshed? I don't. He's saying that because he wants the war to end. He's got zero respect for me left. Which, honestly, can I blame him? I have been absolutely ravaging him. Now just wiped out his ground troops. And he has no navy. Okay. It's an interesting, uh, interesting strategy he's got here of don't build any navy to counter the enemy's navy and build every single city touching the water. That's, uh, that's a good strategy there. Again, second hardest difficulty. Cannot stress that enough. Uh, there is no reason why it should be this ridiculously easy. It is unfair how easy this is. And again, this is my third ever match on the expansion. And, uh... It's not a challenge. And it's not because I'm awesome, believe me. I'm just good at this game. I don't consider myself to be great at this game. Civ 5, I'm pretty damn good. I can do Immortal Difficulty, win almost every time with three cities. I think that's pretty good. Can't do Deity. Deity's too much for me. Still learning a good strategy for that. But, Jesus. Okay, um, I don't even need these two ships for there, so I'm gonna have them start scouting. He's dead. You defeated the Slavic Federation. That's not an easy thing to do. Good work. Uh, it was pretty fucking easy. Your village was ever ruined by and he wants defense on aquatic state. Yeah, sure. So, 
we're now unhealthy enough that it's actually hurting our production, which does suck. And our science a lot, and our culture a lot, and our growth a lot. It's getting to the point where we really want to take a moment between wars to get the economy in order. I'm going to start automating workers at this point, because I can go so autopilot at this point. Uh, so we're going to go up here, see if we can find a water route there, see what we find at least. Uh, but the next target's probably Germany. I think those moved to a turn. Almost killed it. Forgot we had a thing there. Did the game forget to be challenging? Honestly, uh, Beyond Earth never was that hard. Um, every old Civ player basically complained that this game was too easy. The AI just isn't that smart. Um, and it doesn't look like it's been fixed very much, I'll be honest. The, a lot of patches come out and I heard it got a lot better, but it looks like this expansion made the AI really dumb again, because they don't know how to use the new mechanics, and the biggest problem is they have no idea how to deal with a navy. And yet, they'll constantly build things on the water. Okay, so our spy agency just finished. So this is something I should have done a long time ago for healthiness, but we're going to take our cover ops of propaganda, assign, and we're not going to assign a single spy to defense or offense. We're going to have them all just work on propaganda to keep our healthiness high. How that works, I don't know. Um, but we're just going to focus entirely on getting ourselves healthy. So I'm trying to, you know, fan out a little bit, explore, see what I can find. We really need to move this place. Get some more tiles with it. Um, we need the science. There's a lot of things we need right now, actually. Let's go ahead and get a rudder so we can speed up the movement of the city and start really taking tiles. AI, yeah, in basically every Civ game, the AI is not great at naval battles. Um, but with this huge water-based expansion, you'd think they would really work hard on that, but it's not much of an improvement. Yeah, they'll make naval units and stuff, but they're not very smart about using it. They don't seem to understand, like, the range of mobility you have on the water, and that, like, you can flank things really easily. Like, there's no terrain to slow you down on water, and... Boats tend to have a lot of movement, so you need to be really careful all times, all times about making your own walls and making your own funnels with the land and with your ships. It's very different from land combat. And they also forget that the, the boat equivalent of an archer fucking rocks against cities, so coastal cities are very vulnerable to those battleships. And then you just swoop in with one melee ship and take it over. Okay, so we found one French city so far. Looks like this is a coast that's along. Um, we might end up taking this and using that a foothold to get inland, if we have to go inland and fight that. I was really hoping every capital would be on the water in some way, shape, or form, so that we would never have to build a single ground-only unit. Uh, you gotta admit, that'd be pretty amazing. We need a water refinery. The production and the health- or the, the production and the food is so good. Yep, reserve army. Believe I want everyone possible to take reserve army from me because it totally doesn't in um, it doesn't encumber me at all. Gives me a lot of points I can use to upgrade myself. So I don't have open borders with them because I'm not. I don't have a cooperation agreement with them. Mostly because I I could do one and then skip and then declare war, but people wouldn't trust me if I did that because I would clearly be proven to be a backstabber. Hey, Mr. Matrix. By the way, thanks everybody who followed. Uh, I very much appreciate that. Um, hmm, did we just finish the Fraxite? Improved with a Fraxite mine, right? We have a Fraxite mine there. It's not the same as a regular mine. Um, hmm, I think we can go back to the water. I don't think they'll attack now. 
I do kind of want to build that wonder that makes it so aliens calm down faster. But it would waste a lot of turns I could just use putting into a navy. If we put one more point in, in anything here in Might, then it will get uh, another 5% five five on strength and range strength. That's worth it. Let's do um, production towards military units. That's a really good one that I often end up skipping early on just because I want the science bonus from killing aliens. Eh, city strength. Oops. There we go. Is that... This is coast. I can reach this from the coast. Maybe. I think it's one tile away from the coast on every direction, which makes me think I can bombard it, but I have to finish it off with a land unit. Regardless, I can severely fuck them up with a navy, because most of their things I could take over from the water. I could probably bring them down to one city. Opinion of the expansion so far? It's awesome. A lot of people are coming in and asking that. Which I guess makes sense. So, does everyone love me? Uh, they don't like that I'm unhealthy. Uh, does everyone just completely love me right now? Oh, nine oh, respect out of nine, nine out of nine, five out of nine. So the person who's the lowest respect for me still is okay with me. Germany and France don't like each other very much. And, uh, and Africa doesn't really have any issues with anyone. All their cities are along the... See, the AI is obsessed with using the water due to the new expansion. They don't understand the tactical value of settling inland away from the water when you're in a match with the North Sea Alliance. <laughs> I'll build a few land troops later. For now, take over everything on the coast. It's just a good idea. Really thinking of slaughtering those aliens that have been hovering around here forever because they are slowing down my production. I've been waiting forever for them to calm down and they just won't. Okay, um, is this just one big loop around? It looks like it. There's like a big inland sea. Well, uh, some of their cities here have very little defense. I could one turn two of these cities. Two of these cities I could easily one turn. Their capital's actually pretty tough. And it's inland, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. My unhealthiness is still really high, or else I just declare war this turn. And strike while the iron is hot. Still need to get most of my navy over here anyway. Network, yeah, we need the science. Because we're falling behind. I don't care about the aliens over there. Eh. Uh, yep, another guy wants reserve army. Oh, that actually attacked me. Shit. Uh, I, I have to kill that then. Because if I leave it alone, it was just going to kill me. I don't want to lose a unit when I'm so far away from any of my cities to resupply. Um, We've been able to afford another thing for quite a long time now, haven't we? I want... Um, oh, what do I want? The Aquatic Cities thing, my actual character trait is not that amazing. I rarely, if ever, use it. Um, hmm. Maybe efficiency for producing more military. I'll take that. More production bonus when making military. That stacks with many other things I have that give me bonuses to that. Now I get like a 40 per... Grand total is probably like a 40% discount right now to building military. 60% if it's navy. Something ridiculous like that. Uh, 
Yeah, finally done upgrading those tiles at least. Is this... It's not producing any culture. It's annoying. I would tell it to make a culture building, but I can't control it manually. Hmm. Yeah, stay there. Old Earth Relic. God, we've needed to build that forever, but Trade Depot. God, I need production here so I can really build things quickly. Uh, trade Depot's more important. Speaking of, we do need more trade routes. Beyond Earth looks extremely complex. I don't find it terribly complex. If you've played a Civ game before, you probably won't find this very overwhelming. The tech tree will overwhelm you at first, but to be fair, it still overwhelms me, so... The t see, this is the tech web, as they call it. And yeah, looks like a web. Right? More purity. Want terraforming. Because that will get us floatstone quarries. It also gets us terraforming, which is expensive, but we have the money for it. And it rocks because it gives you a lot of culture. Man, Africa loves us. Okay. Um, hmm. Wow, you do not have many great food tiles, do you, city? Gonna do that just for all the bonus production so I can quickly get more food stuff. Oh no, it doesn't have food stuff to get. Great. Um, we'll do that for now. And start building more trade vessels. Oh God, this is gonna start ruining some of our stuff. Not much we can do about it. I don't want to bother bombarding it because I think it'll wander off soon anyway. Your navy's almost fully repaired. Uh, a lot of hostile aliens around here. Right now, I'm just really trying to get rid of all the ones near our home operations. Uh, you can't have that production bonus to military, because I'm going to declare war on you soon. I don't want you to squeeze out a few more units before I do. Alright, I forgot I can construct domes now. Culture domes. It also increases the city's health by 10. I'd rather have a farm. In most cases. Well, thanks for the donation, Axel. I'll read off what you said in a minute. Uh, I'll just finish this turn real quick. Because I saw there's a message with that. Great, he is pillaging. Need more science. Okay. Oh, it's set over here. Axel just made a wonderful donation and said, I was going to write something witty here, but I couldn't think of anything. So have some money instead, stay awesome, and eat well. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And that is American money, I believe. Um, if, if my client here is telling me correctly, that is American money, which is worth much more than Canadian money. It's worth 25% more than Canadian money right now. Uh, so that will be very good. More production. Was really hoping for healthiness. Yeah, you can have the bonus. 
Speaking of, um, no, not my affinity. Personality traits. Um, more military production. 25% <laughs> bonus on top of every other bonus we already have. Yay! And our navy is now fully healed. God, it's just going around pillaging everything. I gotta get rid of it. Can't do much damage with that. Yeah, every Canadian dollar is worth like 74 cents American because we've recently been raising our inflation to devalue our money for tourism purposes. Which really fucks over everyone living here, by the way. I don't appreciate having to pay way more for food than I used to, considering I'm poor. Alright, and we're gonna pick a public service here. Um, every four military units you have gives you another healthiness, which is awesome! We just made our unhealthiness much more manageable. Gotta love might. Okay, keep going with that science stuff, because our science is slow. I'm trying to catch up on old buildings in general, too. Yay, inflation! Canada sold off its gold reserve. I'm happy that the vote is going on right now, so we might get the Conservative Party out of power, because they've been fucking our economy for like four years. No, God, it's been more than four years now. I think it's been eight years now of Stephen Harper and the Conservative Party. I think NDP might win this year. It's a shame because NDP is not even as interesting as it was last year. But enough with the politics. Back to the video game. Uh, you're a food one. You're a food one. Let's do this one. Any trade that gives you food and production is really good. That's why internal trading is awesome. Is it 29 cents on the dollar now? Oh my god. It was purposely devalued? Yeah, they sold off the gold reserve and started inflating the currency this year to increase tourism. Which means that everything here is now more expensive because people who have to import stuff, which is most things, we live in 2015 where most goods are produced from around the world, because our money's worth less, we need to pay more to get things from other countries. Then we have to raise the price of selling it here, meaning that everyone who lives here has to pay more money now. But the government gets more money off sales tax because more tourism with the states. Fucking hell. Once again, great for the corporations, fucks over poor people, and I'm poor as fuck. So thank you very much, Axel, for the sandwich money. I appreciate that. And apparently now the aliens have just calmed down, even though I just killed a bunch of them. Okay. Whatever. Seems like as long as you're not raiding their, their nests, they don't care that much when you slaughter them, unless you go hardcore. It's starting to really up my production in my old cities. Remember when you used to be the superpower in economy, or however you spell it? Yeah, Canada used to be actually quite a big deal in the world economy. Not, not so much anymore. Sounds like the conservative MO, basically. Sorry, I said I'd stop talking about politics. For anyone who doesn't know Canadian politics, the main three parties that have a chance of winning every year, conservatives, liberals, and NDP. NDP is New Democratic Party. I'm going NDP. Uh, liberal, of, liberal have always been good in the past, but... I think NDP really needs a chance. I don't think NDP have ever won before. They're, they are actually a pretty new party relative to the other big parties. And um, I think it's time, time for a big change. We, we got to give them a chance and see what happens. Most of, uh, most of the stuff NDP does is appealing to lower middle class people. And poor people, so I appreciate it. Um, we're healthy now. Bonjour, mon ami. In fact, the police coming straight from the underground. 
Hey, look, I signed open borders with them. Via war. One turn. <laughs> this is gonna be rough.